Hello! So today I'm going to be sharing with you my updated skincare routine. I did my first skincare routine video in February, I believe it was, of this year, but it is June now and my skincare routine has completely changed. In that video, the one that I did in February, I kind of just showed you what products I was using, but I admitted it then that I didn't really have a routine that I followed. It was just like, oh, you know, here are some of the products that I'm using and, you know, my skin's pretty good, whatever. It, it wasn't really a routine, but now I do have a routine that I follow every day and it has really cleared up my skin. Now, in that video, I did say that my skin isn't a really a huge problem for me with breakouts and everything like that, but then in like April and May, I noticed that my skin was breaking out. My, my face was breaking out a lot more, and I obviously wasn't happy about it. I mean, who would? Who would be happy about it? So I kind of decided I'm going to take control of this and this problem, and I, I mean, I can fix it, I'm sure, if I really try to clear up my skin because before honestly I would sleep in my makeup and I wasn't super careful about um, making sure my makeup brushes were really clean and everything like that and that did not treat my skin very well and also I was feeling like I didn't know if it was the weather warming up or maybe my makeup was like too heavy or something because I was using a liquid foundation but something something was going on where I noticed my skin breaking out more than usual and I felt like it was harder to get rid of the breakouts and it was just really annoying so of course I wanted to clear it up. So I started using these things that I'm going to show you in the beginning of May and now it is the first week in June so it's been a full month and I mean my skin has cleared up completely and it really didn't even take a whole month for me at least I know it might take some people a longer amount of time or whatever but really I saw an improvement within like you know the first week but I'm going to tell you exactly what I did so the first thing is I really made an effort to take my makeup off before I went to bed at night because I know that it's not good for you to sleep in your makeup and everything like that. Of course, it's not good for your pores and it's gonna clog your pores and cause breakouts and everything like that. I knew that, but I mean, I don't know. I guess I was just lazy. But I'm telling you, if you make the decision to not be lazy and to just take off your makeup before bed, that is the first step and that can make such a huge difference. So I started doing that and then I also decided, well, I'm going to wash my face, you know, before bed, but also in the morning and just really make sure that I'm cleansing my face often. So what I started using was these, this Neutrogena Acne Stress Control uh, Power Clear Scrub. So I'm using two things with this line and it is the Acne Stress Control by Neutrogena. And it says it's oil free and that these things will help treat acne before it even emerges, which is great. So I started using this first and I was really liking it. But then I also, like a, like a one week later or something, I saw this and I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna try this toner. I think that this will help just, you know, add another step on there that will just give me more results. And it did. So this is the toner and it's, well, they call it the triple action toner. And it says that it treats acne before it even emerges, eliminates oil and shine, and refresh, refreshes and soothes. So what I do in the morning, I will wash my face with this, and then I will use just a little cotton ball and get some of this product on the cotton ball and put it all over my face. And then you don't wash this off. The toner stays on your face. So... I put that all over my face and then I put on moisturizer and then after that I do my makeup and everything like that. And I feel like having this toner on my face throughout the day really does help um, prevent breakouts from happening. I don't know what it does, it's just magic I guess, but I really do feel like it helps. So yeah, I use both of these and occasionally I will use this at night when I go to sleep after I've washed my face with this. So I've been using both of those, making sure I take off my makeup at night, you know, most nights. I mean, okay, there are some nights that I don't, maybe a few here and there, but I really, really have been really diligent about taking it off every night. So the other thing that I will use is a mask, and this one is by Freeman, and it is a cucumber peel-off mask. 
Now I got this in one of my glam bags I think a couple months ago and at first I tried it and I was like oh, okay cool like I, I'm not really into masks very much but hey I'll try it and you know it wasn't my favorite thing at first I was like okay whatever I'm not really into skincare but then I just, I don't know if I got curious or what it was or if I thought that this could really help me, but I started using it almost every day. And I think that this helps too. I mean, I can't be completely sure, but I really do think that this has helped. So, I mean, really, I have only been using these three products and then maybe occasionally at night, if I have like a little spot somewhere, I'll do like a little you know, acne cream that is just from the drugstore, something like that, but really pretty rarely. I feel like I don't even have to do that anymore. But I will um, put this on, you put it on for 10 minutes and then you get to peel it off, which is kind of fun. And I have used this so many times and I still have, I feel like half the bottle left or something. I have a really great, good amount in here. And I'm not sure where you can buy this, but I'm guessing that if you just look up Freeman online, you can find out where to buy it or maybe even buy it online or something like that. So, you know, look for that if you're interested. And then these I just got from a Target, Walmart, something like that, CVS. You could probably get them anywhere. And so, yeah, those are the things that I've been using and um, I have seen such a difference in my skin. But the other thing that I've done that I feel like has really helped my skin is I've stopped using liquid foundation. I don't use it anymore. I used to use, well, I'll show you. I used to use the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation and I love this foundation. It's great and I don't think that this is what broke me out because honestly I've used this for a year and it's never broken me out or caused problems. I just feel like for some reason my skin was just breaking out because maybe this was too heavy for my skin. Maybe that combined with the weather warming up, I don't know, something like that. So this does not break me out, I'm not saying that at all. So I don't want you to think that this product will break your skin out because it, it did not do that for me. But I switched over to a powder foundation and this is what I use now. This is the Neutrogena Mineral Shears Loose Powder Foundation. So this is a lot healthier for your skin. It is a mineral foundation which is going to be better for your skin anyway. And um, I have been using this all month long and well for a whole month and I love it. I, I think that it really does help when you wear less makeup. I mean it just makes sense when you have less makeup product on your face you're not going to be clogging your pores as much and then you're not going to have all these breakouts and everything like that. It just makes sense and so I think that it does take time to get used to wearing less makeup on your face especially if you're insecure about maybe spots on your face or your skin tone being uneven or something like that but I promise you that if you just give it a try and start using less makeup and also use some great skincare items then your skin will clear up and then you will feel more confident wearing less makeup and so it just kind of works like that you just have to get yourself used to it using these three things and then wearing less makeup has been the thing that has helped me so much and my skin I feel like has cleared up so much and I feel like I can wear less makeup and feel comfortable and confident wearing less makeup and honestly that's an amazing feeling. It feels great to be able to do that. And of course I don't know what everyone's skin problems are and I have very normal skin. I don't have oily or dry skin. It's very normal. And so if you have oily skin, you know, maybe this, these things won't work for you. I don't know. But if you have normal skin and you have occasional breakouts and something like that that you're just not happy with with your skin, then I would suggest this type of skincare routine for you. So I hope that you have found this video helpful, especially if you are someone who has asked me to do an updated skincare routine. I really hope that this was helpful for you and if you have any more questions, just ask me down in the comments below. And so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.